Ayana Omilade Fluellen, and I am so excited that Sharon asked me to do a card reading. I have loved that Black Mermaid Man Lady, this Oracle deck, for so long. Mm. I pull a card and I walk with it for that day, for that week, for that month, for however long that it calls for me to. So I'm gonna pull three cards today to really lay out our week. And we'll have like one for the beginning of the week, one for how things will look and feel towards the middle, and then one for how our end of the week will look and move for us. I'm rubbing and holding this beautiful gold sheen obsidian piece, sitting in the middle of Cardinellis Falls State Park. Um, it's absolutely gorgeous, absolutely ocean filled limestone Yemoya filled space. So thank you all for joining me here today. I'm gonna shuffle the cards. have one card for my meditation, my mudra stack in there. So, for the beginning of our week, we're looking at Dreamer. This is actually the first card that I pulled when I first did my first reading with this deck. On the back it says, Family. Soon as I step off the train, there stands Miss Mama David. Oh, Kenny Sharp and Girl Mama. Big Rainy and Dale Rose. Who Honey Pot must have sent to drive the old people. We stand there, speak in silence. Then they get to moving me along with their canes and smiles. I see this card and I think of family and movement and familiar ties. I also think of not just blood family, but chosen family and how they might show up in our waking space and in our dream space mm -hmm. and healing that we can do both in our waking space and dream space with family. So for the middle of the week, we have Ah, that black mermaid man lady, themselves. <laughs> Nothing on the back, in their full glory. Mystery, Yemoya, Olakun, sitting in that really feeling, feeling self. Whenever I pull this card, it's a reminder that Yemoya, Olakun, that mystery, that energy is inside of us. And to really sit with that inside of us so I feel like find yourself some water and see what comes to you towards the middle of the week and towards the end honey pot mmm oh yeah is coming hard and it reads on the back pay attention I wish I had one more moment with you if I had one more moment with you I'd look you in your eyes and say I'd know you never far away. I'd say I'd love you. This is such a beautiful card. And it's reminding me to be present. And that's what I get. Where it's like, be present in your moment. Be present with the people that you care about. The people that you choose to spend time with. And be present with yourself. Because I read at Say I Love You. I like to do mirror affirmations. That's something I read to myself. To always be present and to always say that so thank you so much for joining me here today thank you so much for sitting out here and being in this space with me mm. enjoy the reading and enjoy your week thank you